and is a pretty good late game which you don't really need that late game even without items Sicilian can do work because he has the sanguine claw they were talking about how difficult it would be to reach a backline DPS like the Beatrix in Fnatic Onyx lineup and Sicilian plays a pretty similar role from even further range actually so this forces MV to have to find some way of separating the front Heal. and back line. Or, I mean, like, I feel like Fnatic Onyx, they don't have that big of a big burst of damage, so healing could work here. I guess that's true, but I personally would want a little bit more control, because right now they just don't have enough. Get both. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. Get both. There's the control. There's the control and the healing. Which has its risk, Tafa. Yeah. Minotaur doesn't do well against an Alpha because Minotaur himself is not that tanky and Alpha can chunk through that faster. Uh, it's a risky pick. It's a risky pick for sure, but mm -hmm. I said I wanted healing. You said you want the control. He gave us both. Uh, Minotaur is in a tough spot though, really. As a, as a frontliner, he really is not bulky at all. He's so squishy compared to other tanks and against something like an Alpha and a Khalid. I'm worried that he's gonna get turned into sliced beef like so quickly. <laughs> but Anagonic, they got one last pick. What's it gonna be? It's Irritel. Okay, it makes sense. Counters the ton in lane. I do still kind of like Fnatic Onyx Draft a bit more, actually. I do like Fnatic Onyx Draft as well because they seem to have the answer for most of what Monster Vicious wants to do. Um, Monster Vicious, we've seen what they can do in the late game. So, comes to say that honestly, for both teams, it can really go either way. And, and it's hard to say that this is a cop-out answer because the draft from Fnatic looks more convincing but the um, looking at past history of what MV is able to do after 12 minutes, after the Natan gets the Holy Crystal, it's something that needs to be respected. And I feel like it's a mistake on our part if we don't bring it up. Yeah, I think Fnatic Audit themselves should be very aware of this. So we should see a little bit more focus towards that goal lane. Especially since they already have the Irritel to counter the Tan in lane. If you add a little bit more to that, you really slow down Ruff hitting that power spike before he can turn the game around. But only one team will come out on top here, ladies and gentlemen, as we jump into the final game of the series. Is it going to be Monster Vicious or Fnatic Onic Philippines? Something that has to be noted here is for Monster Vicious to do well, Nova Escobar needs to do well and that's a very difficult task for him to do as we can see early in the in the in the early stages of the game here in mid Nova Escobar and Martizi is getting chunked down quite a bit and we also have to we have to look at Uni if Uni is able to actually find sprints and find Kelra which I guess is not hard to find Kelra because more often than not Kelra will be the one in your face yeah, I think both teams this time have a more straight up up front to back lineup, right? Where in that case, I think MV actually has a slight advantage if they're able to pair up the Midwin Fury with the bridge in place here. But Fnatic Onyx have a pretty good amount of mobility, especially on Kelra. So if he's able to avoid the general AoE, he's the one doing all the damage. Yeah, right now, uh, Fnatic Onyx looks like they're actually winning most of their lanes. Uh, the EXP looks like um, Kurt is able to freeze the lane in the mid. And in, in the mid lane itself, uh, Martizi is getting chunked down so much. So only looking at the gold lane where Ruff can overextend his, his midpoint of the lane. So Fnatic Onic, they actually have a very good early game here, making it so that they have an advantage over the turtle. Happy birthday! Yeah, they're playing 4 plus 1. Taunt gonna find one Sanguine Claws, pull Zeno back. A good knockout from Novax Kobar. Revitalize and Flicker being used. Zeno gonna survive all of that, but he's not gonna be around for the turtle. Yeah, now this is gonna be very difficult for Uni as Uni will try to steal this way. But look at Brusco. Brusco is just trying to zone him away, and Uni probably gets caught there. Uni is in a bad situation. Uh, Uni gets first blood. He tried to go in to steal turtle away, but. He was surrounded, 1v4, first blood going over to Fnatic Onyx, and King Kong immediately translates over to trying to steal the purple. Zeno is here to stop him, and will Fnatic Onyx? Yep, they'll just back it off here. 
this is the theme Starfire, uh, Starfire all, all the way through these three games, is that Fnatic Onyx, they win the early. Uh, Monster Vicious lose the early because they're, I don't know, confident, maybe a little bit too confident, or just straight up making bad decisions where that was clearly a loss in the turtle pit and you still want to go for Ooh. it. Oh, so close. Actually, that's skill from King Kong. What, one damage away from taking out Ruff, but Nova was there to stop it and actually did manage to force out a flicker from Briscoe as well. So Ruff doing a good job here. Yeah. No major advantages for any teams for now. Fnatic Onyx is 500 gold ahead, but again, 500 gold is very negligible uh, in this stage of the game. So both teams, this is not like game number one, game number two, where it's really one-sided. One kill over to Fnatic Onyx, but not that big of a deal so far. Uh, this is good for Monster Vicious because Z uh, Ruff really wants to scale up. Uh-oh, Martizi in trouble. Has to flicker out. Otherwise would have lost their passive there and preferably would want to keep that for another team fight. Yeah, now Uni has to absorb the minion wave because Martizi really can't get much here. Uh, it's a sacrifice that Monster Vicious has chosen because Nova Excobar has to make sure that Ruff stays alive because we've seen in the previous two games, Fnatic Onyx, they really like ganking that gold lane. So it's a good choice coming in for Monster Vicious, but Martizi is taking the front of it. Yeah, Frigid Glacier lands on tree. King Kong actually missed his Spear of Alpha on the Sanguine Claws. Otherwise, Uni should have been 100% dead. So that may end up costing them because the Envy Jungle will still be alive to contest the turtle. Now, speaking of Turtle, Fnatic Onyx, they are contesting it. Uni now having the Hunt Strike. Looks like this time Uni isn't going to go for that Turtle, instead just going for his buff. Yeah, I think that would be wise here. Don't want to give too much more over to Fnatic Onyx, since you already spent a lot of resources right beforehand. 2k lead for the red side, still not too bad, but also not ideal. Yep. Monster Vicious. Fnatic Onyx now, they actually have 2,000 gold. So this is a very big change after getting one turtle. And now this is the macro play coming in from the Philippines. Oh, Novak Skobar. Amazing Sandstorm, lands on Novak Skobar. Minwen Fury actually cancelled. He died before he could finish. And that means that the orange buff will go over to the side of Fnatic Onyx. King Kong able to steal it away. No additional casualties. Yeah, this is overall amazing for Fnatic Onyx Philippines because Monster Vicious, they're having difficulty of getting map control and Fnatic Onyx, they're being very disciplined not to get so many kills because you don't want to give shutdown gold because that's the mistake that, that King Kong did in game number one. Giving the shutdown gold over to Monster Vicious elevated from one items all the way to three. So they really want to avoid that kind of situation. Yeah, it's all about macro and map control. Taunt from Kirk, catches Zeno, but he's tanky enough, and Fnatic Onyx doesn't want to commit just yet. Sanguine Claws catches Martizi yet again. And all this while, King Kong's coming in, stealing the jungle away. You can see how well they're controlling the map against MD. This is, this is like, really bringing us back to the play style of, of the Philippines. Six minutes in, 4,000 gold lead, only two kills. This is how you play the macro game and stealing away all of the farm from your opponents. King Kong taking a little bit of damage. Zeno is chasing after him, but as we can see, King Kong can dish back the damage. Raging stats from Flickers in, finds Martizi. Zeno already picked off. Minwin Fury only lands on two, unfortunately, and Monster Vicious is already two man down. Make that tree as Novak's Kobar. And then we picked off. Ruff comes in to join the mid lane, but Fnatic Onyx have their eyes set on this mid tier one. and. Doesn't seem like MV is going to be able to stop them. In fact, they're going to expand that lead to stealing away the orange buff too. Yeah, the way that Fnatic Onyx moves with the minions is very impressive. Oh, Super Friends wants oh! it and Super Friends gets it. Beautiful snipe there from the Sicilian. We're really starting to see a revitalizing impact of this hero. Yeah, and so far, no one has over three kills. So again, very good discipline coming in from Fnatic Onyx. Uh, I can see King Kong forcing himself not to go for the kill against Uni because he's already at two kills. Getting that, that third one could potentially give back the lead over to Monster Vicious. Uh, something that Super Friends has to be careful of unless they're really sure that Monster Vicious has no way of penetrating the back line. And now Fnatic Onyx, there's so much ahead that seven minutes in, Super Friends now is taking over the purple buff. 
making sure that he can basically fight at any point of the game. Uh, we have a bit of an instant replay here, seeing the flicker into the bad impact, and while we jump back in, Avatar the Guardian zones out MV, Bridget Glacier missed, wasted, but the Blade Sir is also not going to connect as Monadic Onyx just being uh, totally oppressive, forcing MV back into their base already, 8 minutes in, a nice stun on King Kong, but not enough damage. And Fnatic Onyx are making sure MV cannot hit that Holy Crystal Power Spike. Yeah, Nova Excobar just finished at eight minutes. Just got his um, Blast of the Oasis kind of too late. And again, this is the risk of having a Minotaur. You're really not that tanky, and your first item is a magic item. Oh, look at Martizi. Yeah, uh, King Kong with the Spear of Alpha almost picks him up by yourself. Minwa and Fury committed. Use actually picks up King Kong here. Raging Sandstorm knocks up too, but it's actually a lot of damage here. As the Minotaur gonna be able to set Ungs up, but Ruff abandoned by his lonesome walking just a bit too far. Four members of Onyx still alive. Avatar of the Guardian stolen. Use to jump in and zone out Martizi and Uni. Fnatic Onyx have their eyes on the prize here. They could end the game before Ruff ever becomes a threat. Blade Surge jumps in. Uni now trapped between four members, a good freeze from Martizi, but Kelra just follows up and gets the last hit in. It bought enough time though for the rest of MV to respawn, so Fnatic Onyx will walk out after taking another inhibitor. Ruff was abandoned, but at the same time, I feel like that was the right call. Ruff overzealously just entropies forward, and he didn't even have his Starlium Scythe at that point, so Ruff was heavily under-equipped for that fight so i like the energy i like the, the the passion that he had in that fight but he should have been a little bit more careful because he didn't have the items to just burst them down quickly like the time has stupid damage but it's not the time yet yeah it's gone a bit way too out of hand at this stage that is a nearly 12k gold lead before the 10 minute mark fanatic on it have taken over so fast yeah, and again, like this is the kind of game that you really need to study of how the, the, the macro decisions that they have. Getting all these free objectives without getting a lot of kills. Super Prince is the only one with over three kills and he's playing very, very safely. Like look at his positioning. He's getting the purple buff and he's so far away from the rest of the members of Fnatic on the Philippines that if someone else gets caught, he won't get caught with them. Um, it's just so oppressive, the way they position. Just look at the damage that Kel- Oh no, Ra! Oh. oh, they actually got him killing spree for Kelra. And with that, the chances of MV defending dwindling quickly. The Lord pushing in mid, Raging Sandstorm flickers, catches out the Minotaur, Minotaur Fury gonna flicker forward, knocks up two, but it's not enough because there's just so much gold on Fnatic Onyx side that they are surviving everything. Briscoe, the only casualty, and they don't even care because the crystal has been taken out and Fnatic Onyx Philippines will take the match.